Hey peeps, how you doing? Happy happy Friday. Hope everyone is doing well. Yes, clip has arrived indeed. Uh, hey Rem, hey Lindsay, hey OJ, hey Cockinella. I can never remember work out how to pronounce your name. Yes, you're you're. We are looking at your work, your habitat right now. It is your habitat in the thumbnail, indeed. It's a beauty. We're going to look at it properly in a second. Uh, right. So just before, I, yeah. So so clip has started. So clip has started. So like, it's not really. I saw a message about it the other day. Uh, it actually works better. It works better in. Um, I think this works better in YouTube than it does in Twitch. Basically, you can make a clip and you send. You can share a link of a clip. Um, and what's cool about what's what's better about it in YouTube is that when you share that link to that clip it's basically like a section of the whole stream so you share a link to the like basically you're really sharing a link to the whole stream but it's got like a little highlighted section which is the clip and so when you're watching the clip you can just press the button um, and say I think it's just like continue rest of stream or something and so you're actually like just it's it's like it's properly embedded um in the stream hold on i've got noises going on my screen is blinking for so some reason yeah i think that is way better and actually what's really cool about that just the fact that it's better is an indication of the fact that youtube would want to do the stuff that twitch are doing but they want to do it better because i think the whole point the whole point of clips I, I as far as um like youtube see it i think is that let's just fade the music down a little bit is that clips is supposed to be like um like a tiktok thing right so clips are supposed to be like a another form of content that can people can make that's the thing with twitch clips it's just like they don't go anywhere they just sit on your channel and you don't really ever have them go anywhere Whereas I think what what YouTube are doing, hey bold, how you doing? I think what YouTube want to do with them is make them like little, basically to like blur the line between the the people making clips and the shorts. Um, so yeah, I think it's probably still got a bit of a way to go, but it is promising. It's pretty promising. These guys are freaking out, Rem. <laughs> what is going on with these dudes? <laughs> what is going on with these little dudes? Um, right, so before we get into the stream, just to remind everyone, I'm still doing the whole, I'm still doing a whole kind of part of this um, Kankathon thing. Uh, we had a bunch of people generously donate in the last stream, so I uh, don't feel pressured to do so. But if you can, uh, the links will be popping up if you haven't already. Uh, and I think there is, I think it's working, but there is, if anyone donates during the stream, I think there is now an alert that pops up on the stream i've not tested this because i got given it um by the by the dudes but uh by paulsley's dudes uh but yeah and so that and there's the link to the um there's the link to the uh their youtube channel there as well so if you're not already following them do so anyway so what we've got to do today so there's going to be a little bit of a Again, as I said on the stream, whatever, yesterday. Was it yesterday or was it the day before? I can't remember. Was it yesterday? Uh, like, it's going to be a pretty chilled stream. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream for. I'm just going to stream. I'm just going to be, basically at the moment, I'm going to be streaming for about as long as I can be bothered. Uh, and that's probably going to sound a bit awful. But, like, my energy is a bit low. My head's all a bit over the all over the place. So it is just going to be like... I'm not going to push myself to stream for like two hours or four hours or whatever. I'm just going to pretty much stream until I can. I'm, I feel like I'm done. So that might be that I stream for you know, an hour tonight or it might be that I stream. We get in the groove and we stream for a while. So yeah, this is a really pretty habitat. This is actually... So we are in the, the, the long-running community zoo project that I started ages ago. Um... So this got like some stuff that was built. I think two. Well, there's a couple of people that have been like Rem and Zuv, 
in the community who have, who have done an enormous amount of stuff in here and have got to the stage where they're like refactoring things. Um, I think I think I'm in a build where Zoov has like ripped up a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, he's like redoing all of this craziness over here. So let's not look at that too much because that's obviously all in progress. So a couple of things I wanted to do tonight. Oh, hello. It's a little, uh, these guys having a little... <laughs> it feels like there should be some music. It feels like there should be some, some funky music over the top of this. Not my usual chill beats. My usual chill beats don't really do this justice. Looks like it should be some some uh some techno or something <laughs> let's just do that hopefully set them all free so yeah we're gonna do a bit of tinkering on this i have another task to do which is um so i'm gonna do a bit of my entrance building come on guys come on you can do it get yourselves out of there i could do a bit of tinkering on my entrance building i'm gonna do a bit of a i'm gonna do a bit of a tinker on um chrissy's i'm just gonna give this a little bit of love in here uh because it's so sort of front and center and i feel like doing some foliage work and some so we might just do a bit of work in here hey nadine how you doing sending all the best to ya i hope you're not doing too bad um and the other thing is i need to build i need to build a bus shelter for Zimba um, but I have made a bunch of progress in Zimba that I don't want to show you guys yet because <laughs> it's not ready um, so we might do some we might do some progress on Zimba Zoo in this well we might just build a bus shower in this map but yeah this is really pretty Rem I don't know why you think it's not dude like you were saying about needing to fix it, it doesn't look like it needs fixing to me it's beautiful I wish they would just like some of the climbing animations are still pretty jank, aren't they? I haven't actually ever used these guys, but they are so good looking. Like, why is he running? <laughs> is he running sideways, and then just jumps through a closed door? Oh, what's going on in here then? How come they get through that wall? What's going on there? Is that because that's like a window? I've never seen that before. Anyway, right. So yeah, I've I've got like, ugh, my my one and only contribution to this, which I still quite like, but it's got such a long way to go. I haven't really got the energy to do a gift shop. So if anyone wants to do the gift shop for it, they can go ahead. I started it, but uh, I've got another gift shop to go in. Zimba that I've got to do and in the last stream I did if you remember I made this door and then I made this started making this little bathroom you want to tackle the gift shop that will be wicked I made the poos in the toilet didn't I god I must have been going mad um and so this is going to be the whole this whole kind of meeting room guest services I might just see if I can get these blocked out. Let's get rid of all this crap. I started this font as well. I didn't even remember doing that. God, it feels like I, this. This one's been going on for a while. This has definitely been going on for a while. Um, this was all my, uh, all my my uh, gift shop set. But don't feel like you have to use that rem. Because the Ruble Trillions one is way better. <laughs> Ruble Trillions one and um, Rice's one is way better. Um, so let's make... I think we'll make this like a glass section. So I wonder if we can just like rip that. Did I keep that nice and separate? I did. That would be really handy. Is that got? Is that on grid? Have I got, I've got no music tonight, guys. Have you guys got music? Or oh, maybe I have got music. It's just really quiet. 
Yeah, that would be handy, Remy, if you want to tackle the gift shop, dude. Just, just the like, and obviously that just that interior. I've just, I've got, in fact, I've got Tigwadu's gift shop to do as well. She sucks. <laughs> just don't have the, I don't have the energy to do a gift shop. You don't think you've ever built one? All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, I started off putting this, um, yeah, I started off putting this stuff in and these shelves and whatever, but don't feel like you have to use any of that. Just rip it all out if you want. You go for it. It would be good to get this done, but... Oh my god, I forgot how... I forgot how built... Let's have a look to see. Have we got a pace count on this? It's not that bad. The chat seems really laggy tonight. Um, have a look. Seems to be all right from my side. Yeah, it seems to be all right from my side. But it does feel a little bit like the last couple of streams have been a bit laggier than usual, isn't it? The last couple of streams have had... I'll tell you what I'll do. Maybe this will help. You've already popped up and responded to comments before they pop up on my screen. So I noticed, Lindsay, I don't know if you're on your phone, but... I notice that, so I quite often pop out the chat. What I usually do is pop out the chat. Um, and if I do that, the pop out is really, is way slower than it would be if it was originally, if it's it, like in its original situ. And I think there's a difference between that and the, um, the like mobile. If I look at my mobile and look at the, the chat as well. But yeah, I don't think it should be. I mean, it seems like the stream is all right. God, this is really slow. This is one of those situations. Can I just like grab a whole bunch of them? Yes, I can. Hey Zoo, how you doing buddy? We just were looking at your um <laughs> your 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 renovation project over here. This is quite dramatic. What happened? What happened over here? Oh we've got monkeys out. We've got random monkeys out. Oh no. Think it's just YouTube in. Yeah, it might be. I'm trying to remember what you added. Oh, there's lions loose. I'm going to pause the game. There's lions out there as well. All the things. Just want it to be better. The quest for better it's an, it's, it's a, a never-ending thing. That's the trouble when you start a project. If you have a project running for a while, I've talked about this a few times, it's just like a bunch of things happen, right? Because you get better as a builder, but then you also get better pieces. <laughs> so then you're like, I don't know. The temptation is always to just go back and refactor. Well, that worked out rather nicely, didn't it? That's the, that's the benefit of pre-planning right there. Change that bit at the bottom. Why is it white over there? Shouldn't be white. Did I make a decision to make that white? I don't know why I would have done. Oh, I did make a decision to make that white. Okay. I guess we have got the white bits here. I mean, there's not a lot to... I mean, what do you mean? At the moment, there's not a lot. <laughs> do I like this? <laughs> it's, got a, it, it's got a certain dystopian quality to it. Yeah. I've tried not to look at it, dude, because I looked at it and was like, oh, it's obviously not... It's obviously not ready. There's, li there's lions loose. 
It looks like you've shifted Dennis's windmill as well. I don't know if we've had any progress on Dennis's windmill. Oh, I did. I have said, well, I haven't looked at all of the, the new rock work and stuff we've done. This is all using this new technique that everybody's doing at the moment, isn't it? This upside down aquatic tree. Yeah, it looks cool. God, it's, that's pretty dense. That's wicked looking. What's what's that habitat for? Yeah, I was I was sort of trying not to look at it until you were done, dude. I didn't want to spoil it for everyone. That's for wild doggies. Wild doggies. That's way better than just clicking one at a time, isn't it? Do I do I leave that little bar there? That's I didn't over that side. Dun, 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 dun. Building for wild doggos right now. In your uh in your thing. Oh, I missed that. Darn it! Someone just subscribed. Hold on, I've missed me. I've missed me. I've not got me alerts thing up. Darn it! Uh, why have I not got my alerts thing up? Hold on, peeps. So if I miss it on the stream, I have to catch it in the alert panel. I missed it. I missed who it was. Someone I should be saying welcome to. <laughs> just subscribed. Uh, one sec. It's very warm. It's very warm in the UK. Hey Crocs, how you doing dude? Gonna fish my area soon. Also, it's, it's, fine. it's fine if you spoil it. I've shared a lot of photos already. I think I'll wait dude. I mean, I think I'll wait. And we'll look at it when it's, when it's gone a bit further. Hold on a sec peeps. I'm just... Um, Who am I supposed to be saying welcome to? Oh, it's Western back again. That was an anticlimax. Right, Western, you're allowed to watch the stream, dude. I don't know why you've unsubscribed in order to resubscribe, but can we not have this? If you're resubscribing on a new account, you've been banned from the chat, and there's a reason you've been banned from the chat. So I'm happy for you to watch, but please stay out of the chat. Otherwise, I will have to ban you again. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Not bad. Do, 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 do. I was trying to get my I was desperately trying to get a video done this weekend, but it's just not gonna happen. Uh too much going on, IRL. So I thought I'd stream instead. Well, I was supposed to be doing this stream previous earlier in the week, but never mind. <laughs> this was just finished a neato shift at the zoo and gonna go in again tomorrow. Oh, it, awesome! You actually work at a zoo. What and what sort of animals do you look after? Yay! It does work. Thank you if you are someone in my stream. God, it goes on for a long time. <laughs> Goes on for a long time. Well done, Gina Venus. Let's all get down to the drum beat and then it just ends. It does work. Sweet. I shall have to port, report back. I haven't looked at that in a while to see what we're up to, actually. Let's have a quick look, see what we're up to. Um, where is it? Where's the link gone? So, let's do this quickly. Uh, display. So they are up to 875 of the 10,000. Wow, 10,000 is quite a lot, isn't it? That's going really well. It's going really well. So the big, well, I mean, technically we haven't even started the, the weekend, which is the next weekend is the big deal. And everybody's supposed to be doing the big push on it. Oh, 
we don't even really need this font anymore, but we'll keep it around. Is that all linked together? No. Don't, don't, don't. So I think maybe we'll have doors. Well, we could probably have doors in the center section, would be better, wouldn't it? And then what am I saying this is? Staff room, offices. So guest services, meeting rooms. Retio then. So I think maybe we'll do glass on the corner, that might be kind of cool. See how this works out. Make mainly working with lemurs right now, but also cleaning with the chimpanzees. Awesome. Which um, which zoo is it? I have to say, it's the sort of thing that I don't know. Right, period point in my life that I am at the moment, I'm like kind of quite appealing to work with animals. For <laughs> doing, I don't have any experience of working with animals or any skill set that would mean I'd be able to go into a job but it does feel it does seem pretty appealing that's all I'm still it's the one I'm recreating on my on my own channel Alberg Zoo here in Denmark well if you want to um, feel free to share a a link dude I don't I think it will get hit but one of the mods can pick it up if you want to look share a link to your channel go ahead I have to say I've seen your stuff a bunch but I apologize I've never actually watched any of your I think I don't think I've actually ever watched That's probably awful to say but there's so many really good creators mm -mm -mm -mm. Planet Zoo fan cool <laughs> thanks i'm not i'm warm i'm actually a little warm but yeah feel free to share your link dude I, i'm um i don't let many people do that but i have seen plenty of your uh high quality screenshots i've never really done a, re a recreation um like this is probably this is probably this building is probably actually the closest to a recreation I've done um, and I did get a little bit obsessive about making sure it was exactly right and it is pretty all right like this is a little bit of a liberty but it's not a million miles away from what it's supposed to look like get I'm just too busy RL with watch all the great content yeah Oh, true, Rem. That is a tr that is true, Rem. I did I did do that Chester Zoo entrance. Well remembered. Um, so yeah, that is, I was pretty obsessive about that as well. I think that's why I've never done a, an IRL zoo because I'm yeah. This is Woodland Park Zoo, the building from Woodland Park Zoo. Um, I think it's because I'm always I'm always pretty convinced that I'd be like not being able to get it perfect would be a bit of a pain <laughs> so doing a whole zoo i also just don't think i've got the like the the, the minutiae i've that i obsess over things um i think it would just be that i'd be so slow if i was doing one one zoo i do i have to say so this week I have been building in both Tigwadu and in Zimba um, and it's well it's obviously meant that I haven't I'm not getting a video out this week but I have really enjoyed having the option to switch between more than one zoo oh balls I didn't mean to take that central bar out never mind um, Maybe we'll make that a door then. So I was going to put the door there. Take that one out. This is this is so this is why. If you remember when I started building this building, 
I spent so long getting all of these individual pieces put together so that I could do what I'm doing now. Oh, that section's different. That's different, isn't it? So I've got these like building blocks. Actually, that'll probably work. The bar will probably cover that up. So let's make that a door. And what are these? These are just beams. Because the thing is, if you're like, God, if you're recreating a zoo you actually work at, that must be epic. Hey, Becca Boo, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, because then you get to literally like walk around and check. Oh man, I'd be, I'd never get any work done. I'd just be photographing backstage bits all the time. I'd be like, oh, that's what that looks like. I got it wrong. I got to go back and rebuild. <laughs> I think if Anna is a hundred percent the most rewarding job in the world, seeing them play with toys you give them or having them jump or more playing tag with each other. Yeah, I can imagine that must be wicked. Uh, I'm gonna end up with an uneven window. Gosh darn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good on oh, my break just went to pop. Thank you for popping in, no worries. Right, so can we... Did I keep that nicely separated? No. Can we keep that nicely separated? No. We're going so well. Just that one bit. And the wall section. Why did I not keep the door separate? Killer. Hey Jacob! How you doing? Oh, I am getting some FPS drops. I am getting some FPS drops. I wonder if that's just while I'm selecting that thing. Tell you what I'll do. I'll disable that. Yeah, I'm getting a few. I'm getting a few FPS drops on my stream tonight, which is weird. It's probably not that noticeable to you guys because it's like 60 to 58 sort of thing. Uh, but do let me know if you notice it. Start to poop. Uh, oh, I guess I have got some inconsistency. No, that's all right. That's the door. Oh, there's another donation. Maxine Howlett again donated 25 quid. Wowzers. Maxine Howlett. I know that name. I like the jam. I love the, the, the drums. <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. the drums okay so that's a little bit I've got to fix there as well I've got to fix up something here let's get a door I should just be able to get this door it might take me a minute oh god this is bad this is badly done this is slapdash <laughs> this is shocking why have I done this so badly oh god Man alive. Okay. Um, oh, is that not working? Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's drums. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try. It's that one, isn't it? I don't know if there's going to be anything I can do about that. So I'm getting drums for them. Hold on, let's have a look. Yeah, there's like a drum beat over the top of that alert. Here we go. Can go donation. It should be. You should be hearing it. Maybe we'll try and monitor an output. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I didn't set this up, so I just picked it up from... Should be coming, maybe... Job is the way that OBS works is you can't see until the like the sound is active you can't see the thing to change the volume on it hmm yeah I don't know what I can do about that I'll have to check it out for the next one if uh, if we get another drum I'll check it if anyone else does it while we're on we'll we'll check it out yeah it's like a funky drum beat that they've they've put over it Paul's they just said, just add it to your stream. Just add the browser source and it'll all work. It doesn't. <laughs> There's no sound. That just might be my... I guess that could just be my setup. I don't think it is. Oh, God, this is awful. This is so badly done. Is the other one the same? It's going to be, isn't it? Okay, I'll tell you what the best thing to do is probably just to grab that and then rip it out. Oh, God. I don't want to build a new door because it will be different. Okay, that should be all right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my days. It's nicely off on a kilter as well. Okay, well, we've got another door. I can I can just cut hack out the bits from around it. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Uh, let's move that off to the side. This um, working around this this entrance building is pretty slow because it's a lot of pieces involved. And it's all custom made, obviously, so it's got a lot of pieces. I was hoping at some point I'll put this entrance building up on the workshop uh, but it will have to be a habitat blueprint because the, definitely the whole thing is more than the, the quota you have got music and stuff though have you is it was just the was just that Kango alert that was missing This is just pat this is just badly made. Ba -ba -ba. Got the tunes, okay cool. Do 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 So we'll do a bit of this, as I said, we'll do a bit of this, we'll do a bit of that. Uh, I do need to do so I need to do a bus shelter. Like a um like an arrival bus shelter sort of thing. Oh poo. Zimba. That's gonna be a pain because all those pieces are too big. Will we get away with it? No, we won't because it's glass. Uh, right, so glass. Uh, if I was feeling ambitious, I'd be opening these doors, but I don't think I built them well enough. 
There's something I've this is something I've definitely got better at, like thinking about how you build stuff. It's that's the like the next stage of building, I think, that I'm slowly getting my head round. Because you can like building stuff and then not building stuff thinking how you can reuse things like this is I should if I built this properly in the first place you wouldn't be having this problem um, I guess that's my only option then see everything from even the size of the door I should have planned from the size of the glass piece because I can't physically get a piece of glass to hide nicely in there it's gonna have to be a double um, annoying I think I'm better off doing that and then dealing with the problem on either side. Yeah, like planning how you do a whole building based on the materials you've got and the restrictions that you know. Because like, once you've played for a while, you start to work out where the restrictions are. Like, so I, I now when I build a door, I know that there's a restrict. I don't want a broken piece of glass in it. Like, I don't want to have to put another line across there. So it would have been easy enough to do. I just, hang on, am I picking up something else there? Yeah, I just should have planned better. But sometimes that happens, doesn't it? I'm going to kill myself over it. Uh, okay, so we have got we've got a little bit of buffer either side anyway. interesting I guess we should actually have just picked up that whole that whole run hmm no that's all right okay so this that makes it better because I can move this into place and adjust all the pieces around Fit. Come on, game. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I would love. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it's one of those things you've got to have a particular skill set to work in a zoo, but. Although I guess you can probably volunteer, can't you? Go and volunteer at a zoo for a while. Maybe that's what a lot of people do. They volunteer and then they kind of work their way up. This definitely feels more appealing than working in an office. I'll be volunteering at my local zoo this winter. Very nice. Which animals would I like to volunteer with? Oh, that's a good question, Lindsay. I think probably, I mean, I guess most people, I guess there's probably like a pecking order, right? I guess if you, I'm not, I'm, I'm not that bothered about things like the, the antelopes and stuff I would say I'd say I'd probably not I guess if you could pick I, I would say most people surely would pick like the monkeys wouldn't they maybe I'm wrong what's going on with this what is he what even is that <laughs> what even is that 
Oh, it's supposed to be that that's the door and then that's a little lip under, underneath the door, but I used the same piece to do both. It's like a little kick bar. And then what's this? So that's just a piece I've put in to make it look like that's broken. That's separated. It's a piece of gutter. Okay. You can tell how many pieces are in this because every time I do anything with it, I'm like, lag. <laughs> like, lag. Tortoises, crocodilians, tapirs, and all hoof stock. Hoof, hoof stock. Why have I said it like that? Hoof stock. Hoof stock? Exception giraffes, those are my ideal animals to work with. Intra well yeah, you like your you like your little your reptiles and stuff, don't you? Crocodilians tapirs. See I don't think I'd be that I don't think I'd really want to work with anything that's like a I don't I don't know. I don't like the eyes. <laughs> I don't like the eyes. The eyes scare me. They've got those weird like I don't know, like yeah, bovine eyes are just weird. But I wouldn't be fussy, you know, given the chance I'd work on anything. But... I don't even know what that is. What is that detail that I'm doing? It's not necessary. It's supposed to be down there. And that one's supposed to be down. there for whatever reason okay okay so we'll put maybe we'll put glass along the top there and we'll oh, we could leave those glass there can we something to fix that up I think I would like to work with the lions but probably get eaten because I constantly try to cuddle them <laughs> yeah I think it's the lions I don't think you can interact with a lion like you can interact with the like I was watching the thing I was watching that Chester Zoo documentary the other day like inside I think it's inside the zoo is the name of it and there's a there was a guy on there that's like he's been working with these same uh I think he's in the gorilla house um hey you look at how you doing welcome welcome we're doing all right, thank you very much. Um, and he's like worked with these same apes for like 40 years or something. And they were playing this game where they were like walking backwards and forwards. He was outside of the, the habitat, walking backwards and forwards. So he was like walking along here and it was mimicking him. It was like he was walking up and, every, and he'd stop and it would stop. And then he'd walk on a little bit further and it would stop. And he and he like you know jank backwards and forwards, like that's actually that's actually an, an an animal you're having an interaction with. That is pretty epic. But if you're like the lion, basically, I don't know. I don't know the lion just wants to kill you the whole time, doesn't it? <laughs> like mostly, I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot, but I feel like given half a chance ever given half a chance a lion is still a lion but uh, you know an, uh, an orangutan or a, a gorilla not necessarily always you know that I don't feel like they just get to a point where they they form a bond I don't know if maybe as I said maybe I'm wrong the tiger king maybe he had a bond with his his animals Binturongs, raccoons, Cotamundis. I've never heard of a Cotamundi. Red pandas and all those small mammals sound real fun. Small enough to be safe around, but big enough to need a lot of respect. Yeah, I guess so. Anything you can, anything you can like have a interaction with would be what what, what I would be what I would find appealing. I think. Um. So not, so I wouldn't, but then yeah, you know, I've never had a tortoise or anything, so I don't know. Do, do, do. 
I wish we had some really thin glass. I don't know if it's just me, but I always feel like the glass is too thick. I think I've said this before. I always end up having to kind of like put in extra pieces in order to accommodate for the fact that the glass is really thick. Because I have to, to, in order to get this like little bar here, I've got to put two of those thin pieces in on either side. Do, 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 do. Yeah, been to, I don't know, but I've never, I've never seen a Binturong in a zoo. You seen the clip of the man doing a magic trick in front of an orangutan and the orangutan starts laughing. Oh, how cool is that? The orange utans. That is very clever. Yeah, there was one the other day I was watching as well, another Chester Zoo episode, and they had two two of the orangutans in the habitat were pregnant at the same time. It was like super unusual situation. Exactly the same time they're both pregnant. And oh crap! I didn't realise I was doing that. Does that matter? Does that matter? Where's the ceiling height? Is the ceiling height above or below that that bar? Yeah, so there were two two orangutans, both both pregnant at the same time, both in the same habitat, and um, God, that's really low. Oh, it's obviously not going to be there, but it can be. It could just be like, could be here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Um, and one of them, one of them gave birth, and they thought the other one. Well, one of them gave one of them gave birth, uh, and had its baby and was carrying its baby around, and then the other one they thought was going to give birth and had like been in the same position for ages because they make like a nest, uh, and it didn't. Nothing happened, and they went and scanned it, and there was no baby, and they couldn't work out what had happened. And what had happened was that the the, the 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 mother orangutan had the one they thought hadn't had the baby had had the baby and wasn't very well didn't look after the didn't immediately like pick up the um the the baby and start looking after it so the other one picked it up and started looking after it and so it turned out that the one that had the baby on its hip was still pregnant. <laughs> it was carrying around the other one's baby <laughs> and looking after it. And just like this natural instinct to look after the infant had kicked in and 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 that's what was happening. But it was so crazy. It was just, a, oh, I've put pieces under the floor. That's what's confusing me. I put all the building pieces under the floor. Ah, uh, that's what's confusing me. Well, I don't think it was that, but there are stories of like orangutans have got a really good um, instincts for like protect, like protecting other because they've they've got like well, I think all the apes have, don't they? Like this this um, s sort of societal thing where they all look after each other's children if they're. Almost like babysitters sort of thing. And I think it was because there were some complications in the birth. And because the 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 other one didn't have its baby yet. Or sorry, had its baby and it wasn't well. The, the nearest female just happened to be the other one that was pregnant. <laughs> so just picked it up and started looking after it. Yeah, all the females are. Yeah, exactly. All the, that. That's so. That's so cool. They say that quite often about. There's a bit. I think at the beginning of the um, the Chester Zoo 
episodes, they always say, or well, maybe just on one series it was, they always say um, basically about how much the keepers learn about human beings from looking at the animals. And they just get they get these experiences that are, you know, telling them things about themselves. Which makes sense. It does make sense. It's like a pet, isn't it? Like, well, it's not like a pet, but you know, you know, like a, you get an uncomplicated version of relationships from your, from your dog or whatever. Which is pretty, pretty cool. But you wouldn't want to be in a relationship. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be in a relationship with someone. Imagine being in a relationship with someone who waited at the door, like they bounced up and down when you came in. Is that? I don't think I want that. But I think that's not a thing you want. Like your little lost puppy waiting for you when you come home. Some people probably would like that. Okay. This is a little bit messy. I can see some little messy bits, but it's all right. From a from a here, it's okay. Uh, right. So I've I remembered the problem with this. It's because I pushed this right up to the edge of the terrain. I can't flatten that out, which is super annoying. Hello, game. If you put one pregnant mouse with another pregnant mouse, most of the time both females will with care for the baby sometimes the non-pregnant female will be lack will begin lactating that's crazy isn't it why is it not letting me why is it not letting me change this oh there we go that's fascinating room isn't it i didn't realize that i mean that's oh it's just one of those things isn't it we just like we don't really understand we don't understand so much about animals in our world, which is pretty cool to think that. Uh, right, so this was going to be a big air staff room. Uh, sorry, staff room. Stuck in here. Here. Um, it's a shame you can't have the shame you can't move the like the doors and stuff on these. Oh god, I forgot how tall these are. It would be cool to have the window, but we'd have to have it down like that. Is that <laughs> is that actually true, Lindsay? I don't know if that's actually true, is it? Is that not just an urban myth? I'm dubious about this factoid nugget. Okay, so we could do this. Um, and what would the path look like? <laughs> gorgeous it looks gorgeous that's what we wanted oh god do we need this little door anymore not really oh, I can flatten it a little bit oh, it can't be there can it because it won't let me put the path down oh maybe I can get away with it with the queue Let's do it. Um, tell you what, we'll just do like a little. I'm wondering why this has got a curb on it. Oh, she's got like a raised. Where does that go? That goes to the actual building. I think I'll take that out. 
because I won't be able to link. Oh, maybe I can. No, I can link on it. Okay, that's fine. No bother. Um, so this should work. If I do path, is it going to let me link the staff path to the door? Oh, God. <laughs> Not so much. How can that even be possible though? Like how, like what is, what is it that links the, the two people together? So you're saying, because I could kind of get it if you'd had a baby, like the example that Rem gave with a pregnant mouse, like I guess there's just like hormone gubbins going on <laughs> in the air. Maybe the woman just like emits extra hormones. I'm no botanist. <laughs> I'm no biologist, clearly. <laughs> but how can it work? How can it be the case that just by merely being in the same... Oh man, I hate the paths. Okay, maybe we just don't have the window. It would be a lot easier not to have the window. We'll just push it back. This is such a shame though, isn't it? Because like, my options are to have it up here. Uh, I guess I could do... Oh, let's just do something. We'll do something funky with a roof when we get there. So let's just bin that for a second. Let's just put it on the floor. So it should, in theory, it should let me have the path better now because I've not got it in the ground. Does that give me... So that gives me enough for like a guest services place there and that gives me all this meeting rooms with some like implied offices and stuff. But I know, I was that was a joke to be fair. That was a joke. I was being self-detrimental by saying botanist instead of biologist. <laughs> I was going for a I was going for a bit of a Del Boy. I went for a bit of a Del you won't know who Del Boy is, but <laughs> Yeah, I was I was joking. I was joking. no way of linking a smaller path to a door is there uh, I guess you can just I think we just cover this over it's based on the theory that when you come in physical contact with another person who menstruates your pheromones influence each other so that eventually your monthly cycles line up I said that didn't I did not say that I said there's hormonal gubbins. I guess there must just be hormonal gubbins. I think I was pretty much spot on. Uh, some women even can they even swear that certain alpha females could be the determining factor when entire groups of women experience ovulation and menstruation. Well, I bet there's people in the chat who are like, or people in the stream who are like, what? I wasn't expecting this conversation. I wasn't expecting... I don't think there's many streams. I have to say, I don't think there's many Planet Zoo streams out there in the world right now. Maybe there's a reason for this, but where this sort of conversation can happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought there'd be some other fiber. I thought maybe that would bring someone out of luck. Exactly. How, <laughs> hey, Pic Piclatine, cool name. Do you know what zoos do to... Do you know what zoos do to animals? What do you mean, in what sense? Oh, 
it there are lots of people that love there are lots of lovely lovely people in zoos so there might be some some not nice zoos so are you just a troll are you not a you're not someone who actually likes planet zoo this is a game this is not real life the, the people deliver them in boxes you don't have to be here watching a game about planet zoo uh, and there are also an enormous amount of people who work in zoos who are doing good things. Uh, but yeah, this is a game about Planet Zoo. We're playing a game. Uh, we're not real life. So you're welcome to not be in the stream if you feel that there's something wrong with playing a game. If you feel there's something fundamentally wrong with zoos, I personally disagree with you, but... Uh, I think it's an old-fashioned idea to think that all zoos are torturing their animals. There are just sim there are just simply species that wouldn't exist anymore if it wasn't for people in zoos. Well, that it's just not true. It's just not true. If you're going to generalise and say everybody, everyone, if you're just going to say. You just said, do you know what zoos do to animals? It's just not true. You need to educate yourself. Do better. Be better. Don't, wherever you're getting your information from, seek new information because it's wrong. And when you do, come back to the stream. Because we'd, like <laughs> we'd like to hear that you've learned new ways. I feel like there's a big comment coming. I feel like this person's writing a big comment. I thought we were having a nice little bit of banter there. Uh, I thought it, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. There's plenty of things to be worried about in the world. Check out the AZA. They have lots of good info about the high standards. Of, that's a very good point, actually, Rem. So quite a lot of people do. Quite a lot of people. Um, in building this even this game actually does a pretty good job of showing you like you're required I mean you obviously don't know the game so I'll just show you briefly but when you get one of these animals so this animal so the whole point of this game is to make the animal happy now you see it's all about welfare the very first thing that I see when I click on the animal is its welfare and these aren't a hundred percent accurate but yeah, the game makes a point of telling you how, you know, what the status of that uh, of that zoo that animal is in the wild, what its what its requirements are, and as as Rem said, there are lots of um, there's lots of big organisations in the world who um, I don't think zoos have to sign up to be in these kind of things, but uh, certainly in some countries they they. I guess they're probably issued licenses to say if you comply with these guidelines you can google it look like google guidelines for keeping a rhino for example certain certain species are definitely um and this is something that's changed it's changed in my lifetime i remember going to london zoo and being like um you know seeing not particularly nice not particularly nice um, enclosures and stuff for habitats for, for polar bears and things. And some animals are just... Yeah, there's a thing about... I was reading a thing a little while ago about how um, elephants now... They're elephants, people don't... Like, the, like London Zoo, for example, they don't go in the habitat with the elephants. Lots of... And I think Boston... Like, this is like a precedent now... The reason why they don't go in the habitat with the elephants is not because the elephants are going to do anything necessarily to them, but it would be very easy for an elephant to accidentally harm its keeper by just like you know moving slightly or doing something that it didn't mean, it didn't really mean to do. And so they've decided, even though it's harder work for them to not go in the habitat, it's in the interest of the of the animal. And don't forget those animals aren't like, you know, we're in a different time now. We're not in the Victorian era. Animals are not, you know, not as... Certainly there will be places in the world, unfortunately, this still happens. But 
far less common is it that animals are like grabbed out of captivity and brought into a zoo just less common that sort of thing lots of certainly in the uk zoos um you know a lot of the animals they get are rescued they're they're animals that have been rescued from poachers or like not nice situations thank you toast for the positive zoo comments as a professional wild animal trainer i appreciate yeah i mean i don't i think that's one of the things yeah i don't this is what's kind of cool about when you play a game like this like i was you know i've never massively been into zoos now the thing that appeals to me about this game is the building mechanics um and that's what brought me to it but i have to say i my my understanding of how caring and good the people are that work in zoos because the other thing is you know someone like chester right i was reading this well I, I was when i was raising money for chester um last year chester has fifteen thousand animals they're not showing fifteen thousand animals so there's an enormous amount of animals that just live like behind the scenes because they're trying to like recruit like help them reproduce in order to return them to the wild and stuff or to not have people capturing them out of the out of the wild there's an enormous amount of stuff that goes on behind the scenes and it's you know it's, I think it is a, it's an it's, it's we're, we're, fortunately i think long past the time you know victorian era where we just like seize up animals and shove them in places that um not particularly nice for the animals let me guess 127 iq what me i have no idea i wouldn't say so i wouldn't say i'm particularly no i you know the thing is yeah i'm i think this is a good it's a good approach to most things is to not be like I don't know be objective about what you what you think i'm not wedded to any opinion i ever have <laughs> it's one of those things one of my things i'm most i'm most proud of myself is that none like none of my opinions are like written in granite in my brain so i'm always open to being like under like understanding something better This is this is a pain. Can I just can I just grab this whole? It certainly wasn't a clever decision to make this idea. This is annoying. I really can't be bothered. I've got to clear all that wood away. Oh god, the pieces are so messy. Yeah, and unfortunately, the problem with with the, you know the the way that we live now is that you can't even do your own. You can't even just like you can't really even anymore. Just Google something. You have to Google something, especially if it's something important, right? If it's something that you're gonna like take as something you believe in, or that upsets you, or you feel angry about, you have to like you have to objectively think about what your what your source is and think to yourself what well, is there any reason why this source might not be true for one thing that's quite an important thing like is there any reason why what i might be getting here isn't entirely accurate is that because someone's just trying to get me to like click on something do you know what i mean it's like there's too much of that can't google this about peter's misleading garbage showing up yeah but unfortunately there will be some of that will be accurate though right like some of it will be true but i don't personally think we talked about this the other day it's just like it's a bit like becoming i feel like for me it's a bit like like someone working in a zoo or someone working in a, with animals 
feels more comparable to someone working in a hospital. I don't think it's about, I don't think you go and work. It's the same as being a vet, right? You don't go to be a vet in order to be rich. You go to, you go to be a banker in order to be rich. You go and be a, I don't know, whatever, a hundred other different jobs. And I'm saying this because I'm not someone who works in a, I'm a, you know, most of my career has been in corporate corporate worlds um yeah and it's like i I don't think if we i don't know if we had more if we had more zoo zoo people running the world (laughs) we'd we'd be better off there's ten thousand microbacteria in the lyle koan nice change of (laughs) nice change of subjects nice pivot I'm not quite sure how you've made that that pivot, but I'm enjoying it. You go you. Maybe you've started randomly Googling stuff. If you have, well done. <laughs> Nursing home keep... Yeah, it is a bit like that, isn't it? It is a bit like that. It is a bit like that. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with that analogy nursing home take care of a nursing home what's that little symbol mean rem is that a slash that's not a slash is it it's like a it is just popped in there do you know what's really fascinating about the microbacteria in your stomach is that people that so there's there's quite a lot of information at the moment that says that that stuff has an impact on the way you think and feel about things and that so what you eat can control what you think and what you feel and it's because because like that bacteria you think about that 10,000 bacteria that's like real things they're living creatures and obviously they're really little simple things but it's pretty interesting that stuff I used to have this thing when I was younger, this is going to sound weird, but we'll go with it. I used to have this thing about, and it was, it was pre men in black. So, (laughs) but I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the connection to men in black. You know, that bit in men in black, if you've seen men in black, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you will. There's that bit where at the end, where it like zooms out of the universe and the universe is like on a is in a marble and that marble is being like played by played around by some massive great big things some massive other big great big creatures and that is like so i i don't know i have this thing this thing it's not a theory because it's based on nothing you can't base your your feelings and beliefs on any black but you know Imagine what the world is like. I know they're not really, you know, consciousness is not the same for a bacteria, but you know, a bac- if you're 10,000 bacteria living in a stomach, imagine what your perspective of the, of the universe that you live in is like. Maybe it is a bit like the men in black universe that we don't understand that even for us, there's this other cute kind of, you know, massive thing. And maybe that... <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> uh, it is like that. Zookeepers enrich the lives of the animals on a daily basis. Yeah, I think... I think what I would say... Them, yeah, that's that's largely the case, isn't it? I think in most... most uh, certainly in most kind of Western zoos, I would say that's probably the case. so that message got deleted it's not a strong word but i generally try and keep the um uh i try and keep the i wouldn't even say that was an expletive but i I try and keep them minimized in the chat on the on the youtubes anyway twitch i get a bit more sweary but this is this is painfully slow, isn't it? So you can see how long it takes me once I've clicked it. 
before it lets me move it and that's all because of the number of pieces in this group I think and the number of pieces that I've got going on here it was in connection to an earlier comment did I did I say that did I say pussy not almost there is there are always the outliers yeah and i think that's far less common i think that's the kind of cool thing actually when you think about it you know i do this when i'm in a you know in a bit of a blue mood or in a i don't mean I don't, <laughs> that didn't sound right when i'm in a bit of a down mood i think about yeah if you feel if you're like in one of those having one of those days where you're like god everything's just you know everything's a bit crap like people just crap to each other or the internet's got you know people being horrible to each other all the time you most people i think well i always feel that because i only have the perspective of my own life um oh okay let me have a quick look, Lindsay. Yeah, drop drop it in the in the mod chat. But yeah, please don't be a troll. You're welcome to be in the stream. Um, but yeah, please don't be a troll. Just don't, just don't. You can just go if you want to be a troll. I can't be bothered with that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, because you, you only have the perspective of what you've got, right? So if you like. If you zoom out and you just kind of go, you know, are we bet like even like everything from things like the you know the way that people used to be when they were you know in zoos and stuff. Why did I just do that? Right, so there's drums. You guys are not hearing the drums, are you? Eden Ashby, another five pounds. Awesome. Oh, I see, Lindsay. Okay. Yeah. I think that was just a bad joke, to be fair. <clears throat> I think it was just a misunderstanding. I don't I don't think that's too bad. You can't get a wrench. <laughs> you certainly can't. You certainly can't arrive first of all in my stream. You have to, I have to know so people get yeah, there's there's not like there's people in this stream who've been in this in this chat for loads of times you can't just come into a stream and um expect to be a moderator that would be silly wouldn't it why would that ever be done okay so that would do for there Right, so let's do, I think I've had enough of this little building for now. I think I'll go and do a bit of, um, we'll do a bit of foliage stuff on Chrissy's bit. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it that way. I'm trying to keep it, <laughs> trying to keep it that way. Uh... Right, I hope she doesn't mind me doing this, but I think I feel like this just needs some um oh god. Some more deet some more foliage and stuff. And I'm not really sure I don't know if Chrissy ever really intended to finish this. Have you watched Planet Botanic? I certainly have, yeah. He hasn't made a new one in ages though, has he? Unless you're about to tell me that he's made a new one. She's got water under here. Is there supposed to be water over here as well? Uh, you're starting to grate on me a little bit now, Picatine. I feel like this is so just chill look back over the chat and look how much you've started just spamming out 
stuff. Like, you're welcome to be here. Let it out like a church house creeper is borderline. That's so let's just like chill. Okay. <laughs> oh weirdo. See you later. Hopefully if you want to come back into the stream at some point in the future, you will just behave like a grown up and not like a rando. Um Yeah, so we'll do a bit of we'll do a bit of stuff and things here. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, in fact, actually, let's get. I think we'll get the temperate rocks. Ba -ba -ba. I think it just needs a little bit. I think it just needs a bit of something, something. Just a few little... I think there's supposed to be monkeys in here as well. Where have all the monkeys gone? Have they escaped? <laughs> Skippy. Skippy. Where's, the, where's all the animals that are supposed to be in here? Habitat is empty. Maybe they all died. There's no gaps in the barrier. Although this is pretty dubious. How come there's a gap there? Put a rock there, I guess. The neighbours, mandrels, gorillas all together in there. I took them out since they kept escaping. Probably just escaping from here, aren't they? Oh, I still escape through that anyway. The three sections of Africa, Africa area plan plains, forest, and the shrublands. The shrublands is the part that is done. Oh, they've got a big gap underneath as well. And gold. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do a bit of mesh. Not the spell like that though. That sounds good, dude. I do like a bit of mesh now. <laughs> I do like a bit of mesh. I'm not going to do too much to this because, like, that Z fighting makes me want to cry, but I'm not going to do anything about it because it's not mine. So I'm just going to do. A real do, do, do. fix the guest been able to see through the mesh yet oh I don't know I don't actually know good question oh they could totally get over this barrier as well That's not straight, is it? Yeah, I don't know, Lindsay. I'm not sure. It feels like it would be a pretty simple thing to fix, to be fair, but... That's pain. That's pain. It's pain. Do a big aviary. Cool. What with um, what are you gonna have in there? is all 
Oh, is that deliberate? Maybe that angle was deliberate. You could get the... Um, I think Drax has got a secretary bird. That'd be pretty cool. Have I played around with some mods? I haven't. I just don't know if I'm going to, to be honest. I don't... I think they've done an amazing job, those guys. Uh, thank you for the subscribe. Did that only just come through? Crikey. Um, but I don't know. I just... Well, there's a few reasons why I don't think I, I will. One, because... Um... Oh god, did I do, have I done that? That's terrible. One, because they never look as good, I don't think. It's another fiver. Awesomeness. From Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. Still no drums. I'll have to check that out. I'm not sure what I've got set up wrong. But yeah, um partly because but partly because they I don't think they ever look as good um, as the as the frontier ones but also because they just uh, they don't like you can't what you you can't do anything with them like you can't well they don't they don't look as good they don't behave right either so like yeah that they're, they're good for a screenshot. I think but if you actually like you know, move around you, know, you look at the like because they're having to use they're having to use like the the caiman and stuff for different animals right they're having to use the the, the, the wrong rigs because they can't make their own rigs as far as I'm aware this is all I wish I wasn't even getting involved in this I could get rid of the barrier I guess Um, it's just the problem when you start fiddling around with someone else's thing. You're like, oh god, I don't want to do this. It's not even mine. Like it, they've got a lot of really cool. I, I, but I just for me they never look as good. And um, there are loads of animals that I've never used in the game. So um, yeah, I'm not that bothered about the mods. Plus the other thing is you can't upload them to the workshop and stuff. They don't have like a you know for, for making content and things. I'm not I'm not making mods, so what's the point in me making content about something that no one else can have? Unless you get a mod. And then you just run the risk of it all breaking, like all your game breaking, all that stuff. That'll do. Fixed up, fixed up, look sharp. Speaking of Avery, Avery's, do you do you mind having a look? Over near the panda area, I did an eagle over here. I think it looks kind of it looks fab, but it doesn't fit the gaps. Let's have a look. So pandas is like here somewhere, isn't it? God, it's got really dense now, guys. It's really cool. It's looking so cool. Um, where am I going? Oh, I did see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this. This looks good. Um, it's got no top to it though, which was a slight, <laughs> a slight concern. What are you going to do about that? Are you planning to do anything about that? It's got no lid, so the bird just flies away. It's almost not worth having the cage. Got a climb. I love I like the fact you've got a climb-proof thing in though. The bird has to climb over the side. <laughs> But yeah, I, d I like the I like the feel of it um, as a gap filler, definitely. I will do that when I built I built it. The mesh pieces, yeah, fair dues, dude, fair dues. But yeah, I like having. I mean, I'm doing that in Tigridu. I'm just kind of putting in, gonna put a bunch of aviaries in places just to fill up gaps. Makes a big difference, I think. Um, okay, maybe I need to just like roughen stuff this up as well. 
Uh, I haven't got anywhere near doing my, my bus station, which is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I think I'm just going to do... I think I'm going to do this and not, not do that. So this was this had um, apes in it, did it? Okay. Let's do some stuff down here as well. I know I've got caps lock on. Never mind. Yeah, the the mesh pieces are so good, aren't they? Invaluable. Yeah, could do a climbing structure. They they probably need one. I'll just make this all a bit more. Thing is, the um. If you look at like gorillas, gorilla compounds and stuff, they're really they're really thick, aren't they? They're usually really thick with foliage. We've got a lot going on. Um, can we get maybe like a bit of water in here? A few places. I'm not going to spend too long on this because it's not mine. So just just noticed it the other day. It was like it just feels like this needs a little bit fiddling around. If you end up watching this, Chrissy, then feel free to come in and dump all this out and do it if you want to do it. No bother. This is um, Chrissy. She um, she's in, she's not that often in this in my stream, but she um, she tends to be in Mrs. Mrs. T Rex's quite often. But she was one of the first people in, which is why she got the, you know, she this spot right at the front here. Because it's been going on for a long time, this project. This is, I started this, well, it was last year sometime, wasn't it? Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> no, it's not Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen is, um... Chrissy Teigen is, Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen married to John Legend. Well, I just made that up. Who's that? <laughs> Is that Chrissy Teigen? If if that's right, I'm going to take myself some credit for being down with the kids. Not that John Legend is that down with the kids, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he's no Ariana Grande, is he? We might go and nick some of your foliage, Zoof. See if there's a big old lump of foliage I could just nick. Drag over here. There's a bit there I could take, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like this is this is awesomeness. <laughs> it's just gonna take this whole section. Uh, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Just borrowing that. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on, old bugger. See, I think when I think of a like a monkey thing, this is like really thick, dense foliage is what I think of most of it I suppose we probably should do a save haven't done anyone one tonight at all uh, community so 1607 yeah yeah I'm gonna do that this one needs to get flatten down a bit as well Bow. 
Uh, I'm trying to think of what's nice, big bushy things. Oh, I quite often use the um, I quite often use the beeches and the corkwoods. Uh, what am I doing? My brain is not working. It's because this looks like this. It's so weird. Um, as like bush colour. So let's do a bit of that. Do 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 beach. Quite high. Yeah, the corkwood and the mangrove apple was pretty good as well for this sort of thing. Just like right down in the sunk right down in the terrain. Hey Mathlety, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm doing all right. We're not going to be probably too much longer, but uh, just doing a bit of jazzing up on this. So this is um, this is my community zoo project that's been going on for a while. So a bunch of different people worked on this. Uh, so I'm just doing a bit of bit in a, a bit of an update on one of the habitats. This is a bonobo and uh, ape habitat. Doing good, just got home from work, thought I'd hop in and see what you were working on. So we did a bit of, we started the stream off with a bit of this. Uh, God, I didn't get a lot done there, did I? But we added that section, <laughs> we added that section, which looks pretty cool. I think that'll be pretty cool once it's done. And then we added that bit of staff room in there. This is the entrance building. Uh, that I started ages ago. This is basically my contribution to this project and then all the rest of it is by the other peeps. Uh, but I'm just giving this one a bit of a spruce up because it was done ages ago. I don't know if I don't know if Chrissy ever was like done with it but she certainly hasn't been back in to, to pick it up for a while so I think I'm probably all right to be to be messing with this. Yeah, so if we had like a climbing structure here, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, we do probably want a couple of trees. Um, what's everybody else done for trees? Have we got like a native tree going on? We've gone with like... Okay, we've gone with kind of all sorts of different stuff. Is there anything that's like a native? Oh, this is probably looking more native, isn't it? ashes well that's really cool that is awesome who did that is that you Zoof? 
I love that bit of rock. That bit of rock work is epic. That would look wicked in like a polar bear habitat. And that's that's faux rocks, isn't it? Yeah. Chrissy, yeah, no, Chrissy's chill, isn't she? I'm sure she'll be fine. Monkeys everywhere. <laughs> Not even gonna look. Monkeys everywhere. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like that. Um, so if this was my own zoo, which it kind of is, I'd be going nuts with the temple rubble all over this. But I don't think I'm gonna. Um, so let's do some. Let's do some like. Feels like it needs some trees, but I'm not sure what sort of tree. What is that? Is that Kapok? Yeah, I don't really like the Kapoks, they're so big. We've got we've got a decent amount of Scots pines. I like the beech the um the birches. I'm using these loads at the moment. Not lactose, birch. So I'm going to have to do something with these though to protect them. So let's just do that. It's cool that if you zoom out you can see that you that we all have all have big grass. But we all have big areas. Sorry, I completely misread that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's good, you know. It's nice to see people doing it. That's the big thing. It's nice to see uh, that it. Yeah, you know, I'm slow, so yeah, everything is never. This was never going to be like a like a two or three week project because I'm slow. <laughs> so uh, I don't mind that. In fact, let's use. It's probably easier just to use that, isn't it? Thing is a monkey would just climb over that. How do you how do you protect a tree from a monkey? Maybe you don't. Hmm. Kind of interested now to know what would a, what would a zoo do to actually protect protect a tree from an ape? I don't think you do, right? Maybe you stabilize it. Maybe that's what you do. Maybe put some posts in. Put non climbable things around it, like the metal tree ring, the metal tree thing. Metal tree thing. What's that? It's in the classic theme. Oh right, yeah. I don't think I don't think that would. I know what you mean. But that wouldn't stop an ape, would it? That would stop a that would stop something from eating it. But it wouldn't stop a, a maybe you don't care. Maybe you don't mind people the animals maybe you don't mind apes climbing on it, but you don't want it to be broken. What we could do God, why am I th you know why it does that sometimes? It's because my mouse button that's my third mouse button typing into that box. Stupid. Um yeah, I think maybe we just like stabilize it. So if we just put in like rods, so we don't mind it being climbed on, we just don't want it to be broken. So if we do I have a zoo design book right next to me and in the section about housing apes it says trees don't need to be protected just need to be larger trees right then so i'm not going to i'm not protecting it as such to stop it from being climbed on i'm just stopping it from being broken that's my thought So I just want to do something that's like a brace for it. I 
obviously not going to be blue, but. Yeah, so that's what I'm just like stabilizers, basically. That's what we're doing. It's a bit crap, but never mind. Yeah, we don't have cables, so I'm going to do rope. And the trick you can do with rope, uh, in fact, let's make that green. Ugh. Is if you get the knotty bits, let's grab that. Let's get one of the big knots. Yeah, it was more, the thought was more about the breaking it. Than them escaping using it, Rem. That's more what I was thinking about. Uh, do, 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 Hey basic builder, how you doing? Welcome in. Yeah that does enough, I think that does enough. I probably should have made those out of wood but I think that does enough to look like it's a stabilizer for a, for a tray. Um, and then hopefully I can swap out the tray and not have to build that again. I buy that. I buy that as a thing. I think that's all right. It's all a bit rough. I'm all. I'm always a bit rough in the streams. I'm always way more methodical about stuff in the, when I'm not streaming. But. I probably don't feel like that to you guys. It probably feels like I'm super slow in this, but that definitely helps do something. Maybe we'll do one more. Maybe we'll do one more like back here somewhere. Ba, 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 ba. So methodical. <laughs> See, I think I'm being really slapdash. I think I'm being really sl well. I am. I know what I'm like in my in my normal builds. So if this was Tigwado or this was, you know, any of the others, I'd be way slower. Uh, let's get some brambles in as well. I'd be way slower. All right then. Okay, what are we doing? How are we doing on time? We're coming up for two hours. Uh, has anyone got a building structure that I can just steal? A, a climbing structure. If we got a, if we got a climbing structure that anybody else has done, I can just nick and adjust. Someone done some work on. Someone's done some work on this, haven't they? One of you guys has done some work on it, I think. In your mandrills, where are the mandrills? It's all a bit confusing now. So this is the bears. Love the wall, by the way. 
Is that a Haribo? Is that a Haribo piece? I feel like that might be. Um, where's the Mandros? I'm done. I should find the monkeys as well. Get all the monkeys back in. Bow, 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 bow. They're all in the trade center. Yeah, it's a it's um hey by the way, Terra Nova. It's a it's a community zoo project that started ages ago. I just fancied doing a bit of tinkering on today. So my bit of it is the entrance building, which I haven't finished, based on the uh, Woodland Park Zoo. And we did a little bit of this today, <laughs> with this extension. Uh, and I've then started working over this on this, just giving this some foliage and stuff. It's not my best, but it's all right. Right then, um, let's get those get those puppies back in again. Did I did I already press that? Did I actually press it? I can't remember if I actually pressed it or not. Doesn't look like it. He's not he's not high of activity, is he? Need the rest of your stuff. Where is where is the? Let me see if I can get it from up here then. There's the wild dogs. There's a bloody lion running about. <laughs> Hang on, there's a mandrel here, just chilling. By this, by this crazy thing. Well, there's warthogs. There's a lot of Z fighting going on here, guys. Wouldn't be acceptable in any of my <laughs> in my projects. Oh, I like that little little sunken bit there. So you've got stuff all over the place, Dave. Where's the bloody? Well, I could just. Oh, I'm looking for a climb structure. Oh, this. That is cool. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Someone needs to get a grip of all these animals in here, peeps. We've got bloody animals loose everywhere. Yeah. I'm looking across at the chat half the time, dude. That's why. I got it in the end. I like this, though. It's just the colouring. It's got really cool colouring. What's that bit? Is that a bit of tree? Nice. Yeah, White Andrews has done some awesome stuff. I just put. I'm just going to be lazy. You can feel free to jazz this up later, but I'm going to be lazy because I'm running out of steam on my stream. Should we put some rope between them? Impressed with how naturally you said my name. I didn't attempt the harder bit of your name. Did you notice that? <laughs> I avoided the the Terra Nova bit. That's all right. I can say that. Are you changed? Oh, it's, you you literally took. I thought you said you in, it was inspired, not that you took it off of the workshop. No, that's all right, dude. I don't mind. If you're bringing in the Haribo stuff, I'm all right. If you're bringing in the Wyatt stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> right. The pain you have when you try and link two structures together. This is why when we get Prehistoric Kingdom, 
I will rejoice. When we get to the point where we can have in prehistoric kingdom we have the um there's not a position snap on ropes is there um when we get the fact that we can extend things yeah see that's not the position snap is it <laughs> that's the position snap so it's like a big curve i guess i could have a bit in the middle and we'll just do that Just have to have several bits. Yeah, PK. I mean, I'd be playing PK now if it wasn't for the fact that you that you you, know, you could kind of lose everything. Uh, and and the fact that you um yeah you can't do groups and things, which is definitely the killer at the moment. Um. So let's just do a beam, I think. What have you used? Let's just pick that up. Uh, I message Christian, I might tinker around this area once I get the file. No worries, go for it. <laughs> I'm not precious. Whoever wants to do it, I'm happy. Uh, sorry, what was that? That was painted beam. And you've just done it in like a pale colour, haven't you? Just pick up your colours. Which one have you actually used? Thick painted six. Then oh, I didn't think you actually used that one, never mind. Remove that rock in a sec. Yeah, rope should definitely have that, shouldn't they? They should just have like a fixed point snap. Um, and yeah, they they snap end to end like the pipes do. But yeah, PK will have it so that you can extend the rope, so you don't get a. That would be that's how it should be done. I'd love to join a group project. I hate Z fighting as much as you do. Yeah, you got to be careful though. Because you end up with, yeah, my level of obsession is not necessarily fun for everybody, um, playing wise. So, yeah, I'd be tempted to go through and get rid of all the everyone sea fighting, but you know, it's not it's not fun for me. And you end up just um, that doesn't really work, does it? What's that? Uh, that's the one. Yeah, I was keen to make sure that, and I think this is um, there's a difference between. I think there's a difference between collab projects and like community projects um because community project this was really just about having everyone kind of you know messing about so i don't mind people doing stuff that's like what well, you know if if i obsess over z fight because i know there's lots of there's actually quite a lot of big content creators who are really successful who don't bother about z fighting because when you're at a certain distance or when you're doing a cinematic, you don't necessarily see it. Um, but if you pull any of their files down, you'll be like, oh, so much Z-Fighting everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so if you're doing a collab project, it's much harder to, to, to like tolerate people doing different stuff. 
But if you're doing a, if you're doing something like this, this was always just supposed to be about fun and just sitting everyone messing about. Collab, so as in collaboration, not cola. So I'm going to be super lazy because I'm nearly at the end of my my stream. Actually, you know what I could do? <laughs> Say that. The last little detail that's cool on these, I've done a bunch of times. Uh... Yeah, yeah, because you're in a collab with um, a bunch of people on that one. It's hard. It is hard. Uh, you know what? One of the things that's most hard about it is that people just work at different speeds, though, right? So, like, it's... Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the African sunshade thing. People work at different speeds, and also, you know, people have different tastes and stuff, so can be a bit can be a bit difficult and I think the the, the, the people that uh, there's not a you know, people people have different things that they think are good and and different feelings about what how things should work sometimes this isn't gonna work I'm not gonna bother doing that And the bigger the number of people involved, if the, if you're all kind of um, you know, on an equal footing, it's tricky. You want a weekly schedule? Yeah, so I much prefer the idea, although I don't think I will, because I, you know, was pretty burnt out by. It. The Missoula experience. <laughs> that, um, yeah, I don't think I will do a collab again. Uh, I think I'm more likely to do like. Is that even level? Oh god, Toves. Oh god, god. I'm more likely to do. I, I would. I don't mind the idea of like guesting in someone else's build. Collab with a few YouTubers right now. I can't reveal it yet though. Yeah, I've had a few offers, but yeah, I've just got. I've got so many things spinning that I don't. I don't really want to. Yeah. Terra Nova is an awesome, an awesome. It's what's really cool about Terra Nova as a project. Um, and that actually did confuse me when I first saw. I think I've seen Terra Nova in the chat before, so I it didn't confuse me that much. But whenever I see that person's name, <laughs> I just think of that project. Uh, but yeah, it's a super original idea. It's good to see people making stuff that is like pushing the envelope is it even as it's not even a zoo is it you haven't got any plan to make it a zoo i haven't seen i have to say i haven't seen s dan's edition but i saw it oh, i think i saw it what did i last see i saw the one with the like the 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 the, the, the what is it the landing pod or whatever the like the eagle thing that's really cool. Yeah, I just I don't I have to say I don't I don't watch an enormous amount of other people doing stuff. Um, mainly because well, I watch I tend to watch people stream, but because I'm playing a lot myself, uh, you know, I get a bit. I can get a bit burned out. What am I doing here? Why can't I find the piece I'm looking for? I just had it. Oh, it's just called Beam. Okay. Um, yeah, if I watch too much and play too much, well, two, thing hap two things happen, and I've d decided a long time ago to be careful about this, is that 
I don't like well for one thing I don't I don't want to get oversaturated by the game that's why I've always played fairly consistently because I haven't ever spent loads of time I'm, you know I could be pretty um, I'm not very good at the whole networking thing that's definitely one of my weaknesses as a content creator not very good at doing all the kind of being in everyone's discords and chatting to everyone and being I'm like my social media skills are a bit lacking I'm not really a twittery type person I do it when I have to um But yeah, it's good to see. Um, I've completely lost my point there. What was I even going to say? Yeah, I I kind of I do kind of agree. Um, I don't. I was saying about not watching other people's stuff very much. The other reason why I don't watch a lot of other people's stuff, and there are very very few exceptions, is well, the main the main reason is just not getting oversaturated by the game. The second reason is, inevitably, you will come across something that someone's done that you had the idea to do, and like they've done it better or they've done it before you've done it. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like, I don't want to have that, so I don't watch. Um, but mostly it's just the lack of wanting to get oversaturated thing. Remnant and Remnant and um, and J and Jash, yeah. The, the one, the uh, the, only, the only other fit. I mean, I think those guys are probably. I think Remnant in particular is probably the best creator I've seen in this game. Uh, the overall package, although he doesn't do a lot of in, it, doesn't do internals as much as some of the other people. As in, he doesn't do in, insides of buildings. Um, I think he's one of the best. And they've probably got... They are probably... The only... Pair... That I can watch for like 50 minutes. And I don't watch a lot of people... I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos for 50 minutes. Usually I'm watching a, like a YouTube video because I'm like... I don't know waiting for my video to render or something or I'm like I don't know doing something else but it's quite unusual to be able to watch for me to be able to watch a, a, a video for 50 minutes most of the time when I'm watching and this is not a it's all personal preference but most of the time when I'm watching a 50 minute video of someone I'm like this is like 20 minutes of content that you've just waffled through my in my <laughs> opinion I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. But those guys I can watch because they clearly really, really like each other and they get and that does make a difference. The pre the old um I have to say my previous favourite project was the Pelosa team. I mean I haven't seen anything from those guys in ages. It's not on my channel, no. It's on on Basics channel, and uh, Zekin and a few others. But yeah, Rem Remnant is. Um... What happened to Serenity? Yeah, we t I actually talked to Thrive the other day because I was saying about working on something serenity just kind of fizzled out um i mean i didn't do i only did that one episode on it uh and then thrive made an episode um later which was the panda bear habitat lots of projects just do kind of come to a natural a natural end I think I think most of the guys were I don't know if maybe when I before I started working on it there wasn't an enormous amount of appetite to work on it anyway um because they'd had a bit of a they'd have a, had a bit of a slow down um 
but I think it's also a bit of one of those things. It's the same as like I would I would find it very difficult to work on anything for you know the amount of time that some projects go for because you know as I said you you improve as a builder and the pieces improve. And if you're working on something that's that like you're that kind of invested in it I'd be tempted to go I'd always be tempted to go back and refactor so yeah I don't know so I mean Serenity is basically not going to be back um, unfortunately Which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, right, that's done. That is done. They probably won't use that now because I've put the rope coils on it. It is on Mars, yeah. It's a really cool idea. It's, 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 a, it's a cool concept. Um, so this has got... Is this supposed to have gorillas in it as well? <clears throat> Let's put a few of these like enrichment things. The bats. I hate it. I hate that it does that. hate that it does that why does it do that with the bloody enrichment items that's that stupid thing where it adjusts the terrain for you I don't want it to <laughs> I don't want it you can't make me have it I enjoyed getting to watch a little. Gotta get, gotta go. Let my drama queen husky out. She's screaming at the door. We have had a few donations, by the way. I don't know if they've been people that have been in my chat, but the um, the notification has gone off a few times. I haven't got the sound working for some reason. But yeah, thanks for popping in. Good to see ya. Right, I think that's probably about enough for me. We made a bit of a difference to it anyway. <laughs> we made a bit of a difference. We definitely, we made it a bit more lush. Could definitely still use some more work in there, but... And then this looks... I don't know whether she was... Pl I don't know what the plan was with this. But... I think it looks a bit, a bit more interesting. I do like the building; it's funky. Anyway, right, that is going to be it, guys. Um, so, what am I doing? So, I was supposed to be streaming. Sorry, I was supposed to be making a video tomorrow. I don't think there's going to be a video ready for tomorrow. As I said, I've got, uh, but I have got progress on both Tigwudu and. Um, you love my stop motion. That's Zekin. I have done stop motion. I have, well, do you know actually? Funnily enough, Zekin. When Zekin first put his stop motion out, he messaged me to say, "I'm really sorry. I've just realised you've done stop motion in Planet Zoo." I did it before everybody else did it. <laughs> I did it on a station. I built a station uh, back in my old franchise zoo. And then Zekin did it after that. And a bunch of people... And to be fair, Zekin probably did it better than I did it. Uh, but yeah, that's Zekin. So go check him out. He's cool. Anyway, peeps. Right, that's going to be it. Uh, there will be... I will be trying to stream next week as well. I'm going to probably not put out a schedule for next week. Because I keep I keep, keep feeling like I'm being flaky. and not doing it. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, peeps. Have a good one.